And we are back. Welcome back, one. Welcome back, all. We've got a game underway. We did have some problems actually getting the SE version of Infernal downloaded, so we do apologise about that, but that seems to be all sorted now. Uh, I'm, of course, Jay. He is Warclan, and we are going to be jumping straight in to... Uh, it's going to be infused against a Nexus, so... Battle of the, uh, you know, two underdog UK teams here. And as you can see from the overview, standard setups. Nothing particularly spectacular here from either team. 7-10 the scoreline in favour of a Nexus right now. A Nexus on the... Well, I, I want to say fancy CT side Inferno, but I don't think it's as fancied anymore because of the changes on uh, on Banana. I think it's a little bit easier to uh, to actually push and, uh, and take um, once you get to the top of Banana, that is. I think the approach to Banana is much more difficult, though. So I suppose that you could argue that evens itself out, I suppose. It's more of an unnecessary, unnecessary change for my money, but... Oh well. Now, Warclan, of course, these two teams, I mean, not necessarily, uh, you know, going to be the, uh, the, the two, two, two teams that we'll see standing at the end of the tournament. I don't see either of these two teams particularly, uh, you know, e that includes a Nexus. I think a Nexus need a lot of work at the moment, but I don't see either of these two teams challenging top five in Europe at the moment. Um, out of the two teams, who do you see as, like, the, uh, I'd, I'd say the underdog that everybody should be pulling for? You think, well, you think it will be infused? Well, yeah, infused on the It's here. Um... I would say infuse all the underdogs. Yeah, uh, I mean a Nexus, a great, uh, great team. Not, not, not a great team. Great players, and they have the potential to be a great <laughs> team. I was say they're kind of the antithesis of a great team. Um, great individuals, but the, the team play does seem to lack a little bit at the moment. As you can see, <laughs> infuse picking up the run just to, uh, just to, just to sort of put the exclamation point at the point I was making there. Uh, it was really a situation where a Nexus were in a dominant position for most of that round and then kind of threw it away towards the end with just shoddy communication and, and not shutting down the uh, the actual covered site push there. So 11-7 now the scoreline. Infused by itself a bit of a lifeline here. Let's take a look at your top scorers so far. Top scoring server is going to be released. So Dan on 17-4-11. Uh, Second place, that's going to be uh, ZSY, in fact, on 14-11. and 11. And third place is going to be Shig on 13-13. and 13. With five assists in there as well. All right, needs to be said though. Uh, last round actually went in favor of an Nexus uh, because of the time. Uh, so yeah, actually, oh, the, uh, I can't this so one. infused lost that round, which was so oh, horrible. I do apologize. For them. I, I thought they actually picked because they picked up the final frag. I thought they picked up the uh, the actual round though. But that's that's what you get when you're playing with X Split and thinking about other things at the same time. So yeah. So back <laughs> in game anyway. I'm going to see Mark with the uh, Famas headshot. It's going to shut down Jim on the banana site. Uh, Rattlesnake patiently waiting for that all pick. He knows that release is down there, so I think he's going to use release as bait here, try and force him down banana. It's not going to happen, nope. Release is going to grab the frag without the help of uh, a Rattlesnake, so another round on the board for Nexus. 12 7 now the scoreline. And uh, really at this point, I have to say that a Nexus should pick up the victory here, but I mean, still, considering the fact that they lost to, uh, to Kick, they're going to be struggling, aren't they? I mean, that, that third place spot. Um, would they go through on? Would they have to play a wild card game, or how, how would that work for third place now? Um, I'm not really sure. It kind of depends on uh, on all the results and stuff. I think so. It's uh, we have to see the end result of the group before we can uh, think about uh, what they will do to decide the third place. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what a Nexus uh, is hoping for right now because second place is not going to happen for them unless uh, let's kick mess up big time. Yeah, here. I mean I can't, I can't see. Who will kick the plane? Was it CRG or is it infused? Uh, now they are playing uh, CRG, I yeah. think. Yeah. So I, can't, I, can't, I can't see them messing up against CRG. No, no offense to CRG, but um, kick did play really well against the Nexus, obviously, and uh, didn't put in that bad of a performance against very games, even considering that the you know, first half was, was pretty one sided, to be honest. Indeed. Let's see if Sam <laughs> can pick up a kill. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, Mint shutting Sam down on the uh, the approach from Arch here. That's why we zone up. Misses quite an easy shot though. It's a bit uncharacteristic. That's why we would normally make that. I know that from playing against him in, in numerous mixes. Uh, Mole with the headshot. Second headshot to follow up as well. He's putting that M4 to good use here. It's 5.56 rounds. Finding the target. Three headshots in a row. And really ZSY caught his pants around his ankles uh, right in the middle of the site. Well, I'll say middle of the site. It was kind of middle of the site, but to the right of near Graveyard. And not much he could really do in that position, was the wall climb? No, it wasn't. And looking at the stats again, I mean, Mole, uh, this is the second game we've casted from an Nexus. And Mole has been top fragging, uh, getting pretty much the most kills throughout the game. And he's a replacement game. as well. So, I mean, most yeah. people said if, he was, if there was going to be a wink-wink, it would probably be Mole. Um, 
Oh, oh, I said that. Double HE down banana. Let's get back into this round because that is going to completely change the complexion of this round. It is just an eco bash, but it's always nice to see uh, you know the coordination on the double HE on banana. Uh, Minch going to grab himself the headshot onto Jim. And next shut down by that uh, Glock burst. It looks like we are going to see Mole now coming up from bottom of banana with that M4. It's a good flashbang that's going to really, really screw shit over on the entry. And Mole, well, he completely blinded Minch, uh, Mitch as well. So, Minch, top of the banana, no vision whatsoever though. And uh, it was just a formality that kill was going to come in. So, 14 7 now the scoreline. And really, at this point, I think two rounds left here to get for Nexus. They should pick these up quite comfortably with that scoreline, shouldn't they? Yeah, and uh, if you look at Infuse, they, they've been on an eco and they've just been able to buy full up now all the weapons. Uh, Orp in hand as well, and if they lose this round, they're gonna pretty much have no money left for that uh, match point. So this round is uh, going to be pretty huge for Infuse to win, and they will be looking to get the opening killer. Uh, Minches and company, they've, they've got to start putting these rounds up on the board, and uh, they've got to do it fast because if they, if they want a chance of you know stopping game point here and winning winning what would be a massive upset, now's the time to do it. So key pivotal round here in Counter Strike. As we can see, ZSY and company slowing it right down now. It's a 4-on-4. Four four. Mole has been dropped, so the, uh, the standout player for Nexus so far is now... Well, he's watching from the, his teammates' perspective, so... Not particularly the start that Mole would be looking for, but most definitely the start that, uh, that Infuse would have been looking for. Indeed, it's down to 4 versus 4 and release down to 60 HP, and that's because of a team attack from Rattlesnake, actually, as we get the push in to be here, Jay. <laughs> a lot of flashbangs going off on that banana site. You know, seeing uh, Mark's completely blinded, he's going to be shut down by Weber. <coughs> so I have a, a coughing fit, sorry about that. Looks like we are going to see MX shut down Mark, and it's going to be Rattlesnake on the entry with the, uh, the AWP from the uh, backstab. So that site now completely retaken, ZSY is going to be the last man standing. AWP on AWP, potentially, yeah. Let's see, it's uh, li a little bit of a hard uh, situation here for ZSY. <laughs> it's not an envious task, let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, high level of play, up. high level of play. Uh, coming out from both players, actually, there. <laughs> so, uh, match point. They've been well throwing the guns at each other then. That was, that was very awkward, but yep, match point nonetheless. And really now this is, this is uh, an exit as game. Well, lose. in fact, we can see that... Um, Infuse got a lot of money here. They've bought up uh, with helmets and everything, so it's not over just yet. But they will need to uh, do more than just get that opening kill because that did not help them out, uh, out much in that previous round, Jay. No, no. Nexus were very smart though. They did give up the banana bomb site, <coughs> but that didn't stop them from actually retaking. So now it looks like we are seeing Infused here making a slow push up mid with just uh, ZSY. Not particularly a lot too much going on around the map at the moment. Rattlesnake has taken some 26 HP's worth of damage, but nothing you would write home about, to be honest, considering he's carrying that AWP. Maybe if he was, you know, going one-on-one -on -one with the M4, but he'd be looking to pick his engagements at range here. And Shig, again, still on point here for Infused. It looks like uh, Minches is also going to come up through uh, top mid now. See the quad side, uh, quad side and arch side push being put down at the same time. Looks like the quad side has actually peeled off now in the volume arch. So the opening is here. We could very well see a plant. All on site. He's got something to say about that. He's going to be shut down by the AK-47 of Minches, though. Did manage to find a frag onto Mark first. Probably a formality, though. It's now a four on two. Make that a three on two, actually. As Weber comes up the M4 frag, he's shut down by Shig. MX on site. <laughs> he's tossing out the, uh, the Molotov, but he's not going to do the job for him. <laughs> it's not going to hold them back at all, so... Uh, much needed round on the board there for Infused. I think at this point now, Infused have got to be thinking, okay, well, it's obviously third place contention with a Nexus. Um, they, need to be, they need to be getting game point here, don't they? They need to be making this a draw. Yeah, and that's... Uh, they've got one... Uh one hell of a road to do that on. I mean, they need to pick up the... Uh, well, seven th rounds on the bounce. I mean, yeah, that's, seven you know. rounds against a team like Nexus, and also being on that harder side of the map. Uh, I don't see Infuse really getting back into that 15-15 scoreline. Um, and that's pre pretty much the only thing they, uh, they need now. They can't be satisfied with only picking up a few rounds. They need to get 15-15 here against Nexus. 
And uh, I was going to say, even making it, you know, like a say 16, 14 doesn't do it. Doesn't do it for them. No, they, they need draw here, so they need seven rounds on the bounce. To be quite honest, uh, I'd say there's, uh, you know, more ch more chance of uh, of me eating my pants on her. That sounds uh, sounds good. That sounds like a health risk. I really, really do hope that the next is actually locked this down, though, because I, I know what's going to happen on stream. They're going to be like, yeah, eat your pants, eat your pants, come on. And I probably would attempt to do that as well. Anyway, we are going to see Rattlesnake pick up the headshot with the M4, so it's not looking like I'm going to be eating any, uh, any actual garments today, which is always good. Infused. I stand to actually, that's the first time I've seen that from Infused. They've actually started to adjust. So they they realised that, that there was a stack on mid, they decided, oh, let's go apps instead. So uh, they could have very well done that in the first half. I might not be giving them the drubbers that they're worth here, but uh, because we did jump into this game in progress, we've not particularly seen that much from Infuse, really. It's all down to a 1v5, <laughs> and it's the nice getting out. Oh, and <laughs> team kill. <laughs> all right, so, uh, I mean, uh, so it's not much to say about that game, really, is there, Jay? I mean, getting into it a bit late, uh, it has to be said, even though we had a little bit of uh, problems with, uh, with uh, the uh, SE version of this map, uh, the game actually started before the, uh, our previous game was done. Uh, so we would yeah. have missed a little we bit of the game anyway. We would have missed a little bit, we wouldn't have missed as much if it wasn't for the fact that, uh, you know, downloading through... I don't know why they haven't implemented this yet, because it seems like it's such a no-brainer, but well, down, CL, CL allow downloads through spectator mode. How hard is that? Yeah, well... That can't be that hard to implement. Come on, Valve. Well, it's not even Valve, it's Hidden Path, I suppose. Pull your fingers out and, and, and get that implemented. Maybe you'll start to see more spectation then. Anyway, we're going to take a brief break because we're probably not going to be too far alive from... Uh, from the last, is it going to be the last of the group uh, group A games now? This next one coming up, or have we got two more left? Uh, in fact, I think we only got one yeah, more I game. Got it's one going more to be an Nexus very games, yeah. and that's kind of the game that everyone has been waiting for. Uh, the clash of the titans of Group A, one could say. Even you though would have to say that, yeah, from what we've seen. I mean, Kick, they probably will finish second. But I think as the tournament goes on, the Nexus are going to get stronger than Kick. Yeah, exactly. They just need to get uh, into it and uh, get their flow on. I mean... Basically, all of these rounds that they're missing and uh, pretty much uh, losing out now is, uh, I think it comes down to warm up at the event, getting used to their setup, and also now they will have not not only tonight to talk about the mistakes they've done, they will have the entire Saturday because yeah. tomorrow is to only Group mind, B. Though, one thing to bear in mind that means that coming into the playoffs, Group B are going to actually be warmer to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, I can't imagine, I can't imagine, I can't weird. imagine a Nexus. They're not one of those teams that on their off time are going to put in say six, seven hours at an event when they're not actually playing. And a little bit uncertain if they actually do have some PCs that will be available a for them. Point, yeah. The venue well, will not, also not be BYOC. closing. Yep, and the, the venue closes at the Gadget Show at like seven-ish, I think. So um, I, su I suppose you could say that, you know, if they've got laptops, they can always try, but that's not, not the same conditions at all. Um, they you can watch demos from laptops, I suppose. That, that does work, but... They will have to. They will have to uh, use the time they have to uh, at least on the PCs to warm up. They have to uh, throughout tomorrow not only watch the games from Group B, but try to get some games uh, for themselves, mixes or whatever, yeah, yeah. just to get their aim uh, up to par. And uh, but I mean, t strategically, they've got a lot of time to talk over, uh, talk it over. And seeing as they got that replacement, I don't see them setting up advanced strategies. No, no, it's going to be it's going to be a bag full of defaults and. Uh, uh, the the occasional sort of you know like cheeky cheeky like four man push of a one man you know yeah plan. one guy fly, one guy needs to do some advanced flashes yeah, and stuff yeah yeah that's, that's why basically what it's going to boil down to it's, it's not, you're not going to see anything that's that's you know revolutionary from them no. um, but I do believe as the tournament goes on you are going to see uh, a nexus start to come to the forefront and, and achieve that potential that obviously they they do have yeah I mean you you look at the five individuals in server. Um, I, I would say individually that they're perfectly capable of matching up against the likes of very games. It's just when it boils down to that team play situation where you know it requires that 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 last flashbang to be perfect, um, the communication to to go off the flashbang. Oh, I'm pretty sure that flash just landed right on him. Go go go! Yeah, that's what they're lacking. And also the research. I I don't see an Nexus uh, being that kind of team with uh, well the players putting in the time outside of practice to look at demos from very games yeah, or yeah. from an and, IP and, and, and check out like you know very games weak link on saying yeah. they're not going to do that I don't think they might they might very well watch the group B games tomorrow but one group B game does not make a, a you know an anti strat does it no I mean no teams would want to utilize their uh, their good strategies during uh, gr uh, group games anyway so 
And what they can get out from the Group B games tomorrow won't really be what they they will rely their matches on uh, uh, for Sunday. Yeah, it'd be stupid to do so, to be quite honest. Yeah. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to take a brief break. When we come back, we will have the resumption of the Mad Cat CSGO Invitational. I am Jay Atkins, he is Warclown, and we should be back after this.